we are at the Seven Circles Garden. I want to show you how absolutely massive our fig tree has gotten. And, ooh, ooh, is it my lucky day? It's my lucky day. Mm, a nice ripe fig. Let's see, is it good? Delicious. This vine here is our kiwi. She's grown quite a bit, but the heat was really tough for her. So I just have to give her a really good hand watering pretty much every day. So I just unlocked it, but the heat made this absolutely so sticky, almost melty. It's crazy. All right, here we are. So I'm gonna go down to circle one first and show you the wildness that is circle one. It's just grass. It's just absolute grassy weeds. So kind of to reiterate, but I spent my whole summer just focusing on redoing the butterfly garden. So unfortunately, I really didn't come up here other than to water the front. So this is gonna be my, <laughs> oh gosh, and my big first task is to weed this absolutely crazy spot. But it looks like second grade, or I guess room 11, I don't know if it's all second graders, but room 11 with Miss Monica and Miss Karima helped weed around this area, which I am so grateful for. So that's circle one. We're gonna just jump over to circle three here. We've got, remember in the butterfly garden, I was talking about the Pride of Madeira. This is the Pride of Madeira. So it's gonna get big. This is a one-year-old Pride of Madeira. This started even smaller than the one I planted in the butterfly garden. So it's gonna get quite large. Our oregano and our mint are happy. We've got some yarrow. This was yellow yarrow. You can see the tiny little baby yellows, but this guy's old, so I'll, I'll deadhead those, which means cutting off the tops, and it'll come back next season. Tons of chives, some more yarrow, and this is a fig tree. We actually had someone donate this. It was so little, it was maybe this big when it started, and look how great it's doing. So hopefully we'll have even more figs. We had an existing fever few there. She's just kind of going for the season. And of course our bean teepee, tons and tons and tons of beans. More than I can eat myself. So I wish you guys were here to eat them with me, but that's okay. Next year. And of course our four avocado plants. I actually fertilized them this year. This summer I put some citrus fertilizer, all natural, it's mostly different kinds of animal poops and they grew probably about six inches each and just exploded in leaves which I'm so excited about because they were so grumpy before especially that one that one looks really good I'm gonna take you up here so you guys can see by the amount of weeds I've got a lot of work ahead of me this circle so those are the Prada Madeiras We've got a morning glory climbing over the archway here. This circle also again is super wild because I haven't been able to be in here. But these are those butterfly bushes, those buddleias I was talking about in the butterfly garden that I'm definitely going to have to trim back. Big full veggies going on, lots of things going to seed, but that is okay. The squirrels are happy which makes our owl friend happy up in those eucalyptus trees. And I'll try and get a shot of her. She's over there. We have a barn owl that has been doing a fantastic job eating all the little critters in the area. I've been dissecting her owl pellets and we'll talk more about that in a future video. These were artichokes. So there are artichokes and this, they, the seeds, ooh, it's spiky. The seeds flew off and now that's what they look like. Massive leaves look like they have composted down to just this. So I'll pull this stalk out, I'll compost it and leave that for next year to come up. Got a little secret yarrow hiding back there and all this is lemon balm. Got tomatoes and the bees are just going wild with all the borage they can find and our kale. There's not much up there that I'm gonna show you. So we're gonna skip all that and go pop down 
to circle two really fast and then I will show you if I can the barn owl or at least where she likes to hang out. We have made it. These are our two pluots and they have just grown. I'm gonna say that that's probably about 20 feet tall. So I'm gonna have to get a ladder and trim those down because I don't want it so tall because I can't reach up there to pull off the pluots. I would like them more um, shorter and wider. So I'm gonna have to trim those, but I'll do that in the fall. And then of course we've got the blackberry brambles, which so many kids over the summer were able to eat blackberries off of, which made me happy, but they should not be here. So I'm gonna have to pull those out and our little peach tree, little dwarf peach, she has probably grown, gosh, at least, I'd say at least two feet over this summer. Absolutely fantastic growth. Good job, peach, you're doing a great job. And then of course, this is, this is the sweet pea bush I was telling you guys about in the butterfly garden. And then we've got all the mock strawberries along the ground here. You can eat them. They do not taste like anything, so not really worth it. But this circle is pretty wild, but that's okay. Big comfrey here. If you guys remember last year, we used the comfrey plant, the leaves of the comfrey plant in our fertilizers. We take it, crunch it up, pop it in some water, soak it, and all the nutrients in these leaves will help fertilize and give nutrients to the rest of the plants. So a massive comfrey here and a massive comfrey there. And our nectar plum tree is there. And now the nectar plums off that tree this summer were absolutely to die for. Just so, so incredibly delicious. So that, my friends, is circle two. As you can see, I've got a lot of work ahead of me. This fall, I wish I had my special helpers in all of you, but hopefully you guys can just take a moment to send me some of your extra energy because Goodness knows I will need some extra energy. All right, I'm gonna go take you up to the eucalyptus tree to see if we can find the owl. So I've come all the way up the hill and I'm on this, by this tree, the really big one that leans. And I, I wonder how I knew that there was an owl here. Hmm, do you think it might be all this poop? And look at this, a fresh owl pellet. So owls eat little critters like uh, mice and rats and squirrels and maybe even lizards but they can't digest the fur and they can't digest the bones so they eat it all and then they spit up these things called owl pellets and right there that is a skull the back of a skull so I'm gonna see if I can get you a shot of my friend up here really bright She's right, right there, up in the tree, and she's just the sweetest girl. She's always on that branch, that's her branch. So if you ever come to the school, make sure to take a peek, but don't be too loud, because we don't want to scare her. We love having her near the garden, because she helps keep all the rodents at bay. So my friends, that is it for the garden tour. I've got a lot of work ahead of me, but I'm gonna do it and I will continue to send you updated garden tour videos of things that I'm working on. You'll be getting videos from your teachers once a week of a couple gardening videos or things about the garden or maybe me reading a story to you. So I'm really excited to start the new year. Hopefully you guys will be able to come back on campus sooner than later. All right, good luck everyone.